think the veterinary world is going through a change. Um, disruption is maybe not an appropriate word because disruption has a negative connotation. Owners are asking more and more if they're, they're, they're veterinarian and, and if they have procedures that are available for themselves then they'd like their animals to have the same availability of those procedures and I see that in a very positive light and that, that uh, stimulates us and, and, and pushes us to develop new procedures, especially in the minimally invasive field. Um, to lower suffering and recovery and, and just increase overall well-being and so uh, I think the owners of pets are, are helping us move in, in a very positive direction. Technology made huge changes in, in the way we analyze samples, in the way we deliver results, so it's increased the speed of reporting. Also it's increased access for owners to information, so sometimes that can be pro problematic where uh, owners will pop onto Google, research something, maybe it's not a reliable source, and that can affect the way the owners interact with the veterinarians and the way they may want to try to treat things on their own and sometimes with negative results. For veterinary practices, it means uh, we, are, we have to deal with uh, what we call 4P medicine. 4P medicine, it's a personalized medicine, preventive medicine. Also, it's about a participative medicine with the help of pet owners and uh, uh, also a preventive medicine with uh, some tests, DNA tests or things like this. A lot of data collected back by a uh, um, connected object and uh, analyzed by uh, artificial intelligence will uh, uh, deeply help the vet. It's a kind of uh, what we call a, uh, an augmented veterinary uh, by the, the power of uh, these digital tools. Be ready in the <laughs> five or ten uh, years to, to go uh, with a lot of change to, to, to manage. Disruption is uh, at the heart of, uh, of, uh, of veterinary medicine. Today I would say that major disruption probably come from uh, the digital but also from technological uh, uh, innovation in uh, imagery or in uh, surgery, uh, in internal medicine, in many, many uh, uh, parts of veterinary medicine, diagnostics. But if I had to pick up only one, probably I, I will pick up the uh, digital innovation. It changed communication with clients. Prior to that, the communication with clients was very intense during a consultation or during a face-to-face -face contact, and then it almost stopped. It was very difficult to, uh, to get in touch with, uh, with people. You had either to, to mail them, to call them, or then to email them. So it was a little bit uh, 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 more comfortable or, or easier. But nowadays, especially with social media, it's really possible to build up a community of, uh, of pet owners around the vet practice. I don't think that there's an industry or a profession that's better suited to using internet marketing. It just really suits the relationship that we have with our clients. I can see the opportunities for vets in reaching out and engaging with pet owners before they start thinking that they can fix things themselves. We've just done a survey of um, 950 pet owners in the UK um, and 35% of them said that they felt better informed as a result of their vets. The veterinary industry is, is changing at such a pace it's, it's unbelievable and, and obviously um, in the UK we have um, corporatisation so um, I think it's close to 50% of practices have been bought out by corporates now there. and there's also a great opportunity for independent vets to market themselves as a boutique um, sort of veterinary practice with a more of an individual brand and um, owners so there's opportunities for everyone. Certainly there are changes going on, no? the, for instance the market is becoming concentrated before we did not used to have chains of veterinary clinics, now we do, before we did not have uh, referral hospitals, now we have lots of referral hospitals, before we used to have less specialists, now we have lots of specialists before you did not have to spend one million euros in a digital uh, imaging equipment. So all, all this is, of course, is changing and there is disruption going on. I think that the degree of technicity is increasing more and more. Uh, it is available nowadays and people know about it, so they want it. You see more and more large practice, you know, it used to be single vet practice and now you have 10 and even more. Soon in Europe we will see the same trend that in the US chain of veterinary practice. If the job is well done and if there is good uh, mentorship of those uh, clinics, it's going to be good for pet. In the future you will have two kind of vet. You will have the more generalist vet that is aware 
I mean, has some knowledge on all the field and can recommend then a specialist that really work in that in those uh, in those area. And I think it's getting faster and faster, and that's going to come soon. Mm -hmm.